estimates means it's safe for some people to gather or die. And like the dedicated lanes like the Vine Trail. Have you been on the Vine Trail? What do you think of that? You ride your bike up and down it? Um, through the I valley. Really, I haven't in a while, but so we're in the process of evaluating yeah. right now, and that will be part so of So you think that biking and walking with the horses? Okay. Because you think the fresh air is good for the environment. Hi. Can I talk you? to you next? Sure. Wonderful. Okay, so Raleigh and I work for a regional agency and we do a long range transportation and housing plan. And this time we're focusing also on the environment and the economy of the Bay Area. So we've um, developed these strategies. So wait a second, transportation yeah. and the economy? Housing. Yeah. So we work for the Metropolitan Transportation Commission, okay. which is a regional transportation <laughs> agency yeah, that was, and the Association yeah. of Bay Area Governments. But you said economy, so I was yes. curious about that. What, what do you. So what does that have to do with transportation? So we're developing this long-range, comprehensive plan for the Bay Area. Okay. Um, originally, we focused on transportation and housing by state law. We're required to um, build housing where existing transportation is to house the Bay Area, the nine-county Bay Area. And so this time, because you can't do it in a vacuum, we've also included environmental strategies, especially to prepare for climate change and um, rising sea levels, etc. And also um, the economy, because the economy fuels where jobs are, then housing goes with jobs. So we're trying to make it a more comprehensive plan. Mm -hmm. So over the last year and a half, we've um, done a variety of public engagement efforts and modeling um, work, and we've come up with 14 main strategies to, that we consider would help um, make the Bay Area a more uh, healthy, connected, better Bay Area. By the so basically you want to plan the housing, plan the economy, plan yes. the environment. What strategies would make the Bay Area more inclusive, more affordable for everybody? Okay. So you and me. The That's right. You live in the Bay Area, right? I do. I live yeah. in Oakland. Yes. Okay. So, um, do you live in Napa? No, I, I live. Uh, I live east of here. I, I actually live in San Rafael. Okay. I was visiting. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, um, if you read these strategies, and we can go yeah. over them, which ones do you think resonate with you, um, that you think would really be good for the Bay Area, and which do you think are bad ideas? Okay, so, um, well, I think, you know, better transportation is always really important. Um, and we, you know, we've got way too much traffic right now, and we need to deal with it better. Which one of those four do you see? So there's maintain, operate, maintain the roads and the freeways and the transit system. Well, that's sure, sure. I mean, probably all of them would, would be important, don't you think? Yeah. Um, but I'm here for you. Oh, well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I well, I, I don't, I don't do bike share, but I like the idea of uh, good bikeways. Um, in addition to you know the recreational bike ways, bike ways that you can get from place to place. Although I'm, yeah. Well, I, I would say that that's important, but probably the most important for that I see for the economy would be, you know, the roads because that's basically where all commerce uh, happens. I mean, that's ninety-five percent of of everything. It's not just you know. Commuting, it's it's moving uh, equipment and people and 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 everything else. So, and then you know the other things are also important. I I don't see um, one of the things I don't see there is I is uh, autonomous uh, autonomous vehicles. Um, because I think that's going to be increasingly important. And 30 years from now, I'm going to need an autonomous vehicle. So. Yes, we will. Me yeah. too. So, so I, I would, and then whatever whatever supportive structure that requires. I mean, 
uh, from what I've read about um, uh, you know some of these smart vehicles it's it's also smart highways and so the strategy for managing traffic to me seems very important okay so your other idea is like um, manage we call them managed lanes and what that means is um, they're kind of smart, smart freeways. Like we have an express lane system mm -hmm. um, uh, down in Silicon Valley and the East Bay, and they're opening up all around right. where that you can pay to go into a lane. But what that does, that infrastructure provides the ability to charge or to have um, sort of signage that will can change the configurations of the lanes. Is that what you mean more? Or? Well, from what I understand, like uh, I'm very interested in the self-driving technology. Be uh, there's something called chained vehicles where they basically, you have individual pods, they link up to make a virtual train. Um, that seems really smart. And then they also do uh, traffic, they talk to each, everyone talks to each other. So Connected vehicles. Connected vehicles, yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> but all of this, co you know, costs money, and so I, I, I'm a, I gotta say, when I look at this, I go, okay, you seem like a lovely person, but what do you know about me and my next 30 years? I, I just, I don't like the idea, I don't like the idea of other people planning out my life for me. I, I made it this far without central plans, and I, I'm not sure if I, I, I'm... Into that? Yeah, so but... All this will do is, when we, we do modeling work, and uh -huh. these are kind of levers that help that. That's why we go to the public, because we want to right. know what you think. So this okay. is your way to... <laughs> so this just helps turn it more abstract. Like, I think she's uh -huh. Hi, good. Yeah, we want to... Yeah, we want to talk to you. Uh, Metropolitan Transportation Commission. Oh, that's good. That's good. Anyway, so that's why we do it. Oh, okay. And we, yeah, and it, we manage the transportation funding. That's what our agency knows. What okay. Know. So we, we, um, that's sometimes how we can influence certain housing mechanisms. I think the state is prepared to. How make how's that? I mean, if you're a transportation agency, what? So the things we've done in the past are when. Um, uh, counties, uh, <laughs> certain cities d develop in those, their central, they don't do sprawl development, they do more centralized development. We will, uh, the money, there'll be more money than the incentives for them to do that. That's how we can to, to concentrate housing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But uh, I think that the housing. Yeah, tell me if that works. It should work. Well, I mean, I think I, I was going to try with my phone. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. It did work. Yeah. Yay. Okay, wonderful. Anyway, is there anything that you think is terrible? In the housing strategies? Any of them, yeah. No, I mean, I, I think everything is, I think, I think they're actually good ideas. It's just really how it's implemented is yeah. really, I mean, yeah, that's... So I think from this plan, which will be adopted in 2021, mm -hmm. um, we're going to try to, we are going to do anything that we can affect. We don't, um, we don't change anything about local control. So there's nothing about, in, you said you lived in San Rafael. Nothing in San Rafael will be changed mm -hmm. from our plan. Um, that's up to the, your city to right. do it. But what we will do is where we can affect certain plans that gets adopted because of this, our plan, Bay Area plan, then we will, um, we're going to work on that after the plan is adopted. Right. So it's a long range, very long range. You know. So I'm, I just turned 61 and honestly, no one has ever, that I know of, has, has said, oh, we're going to plan everything and it's going to happen this way, usually what happens is the economy creates the demand for housing, for business, for everything. And, and so it just kind of seems like a backward way to go about it to me. I, yeah. So, but that's, you know, and I mean, so like a four should come first. Well, planning uh, for jobs should come first. Uh, well, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we got. I mean, how about number thirteen? Yeah. And so right now. So so here's but but here's the thing is. It, transformative strategies. 
I don't think that there's ever been, I mean, yeah, there have been attempts to do job planning, but the way we do things is the jobs come first. The demand comes before everything Everything happens, right? So, so it's, it's, I, I don't want to, it's, it, I don't want to say it's not planned. I mean, uh, I'm a beekeeper, right? Oh. Uh, bees, bees, bees. You know, they don't, they don't require a, a, an architect to create their hives. It's done through the natural interaction of, uh, of their community. Likewise, the economy, the order that we see in the economy, happens organically, and it's really bottom up. I, I view the economy as bottom up not something that you can implement oh, yeah. from the top down. But, yeah. but you know. We need to We're just trying to sneak in here. And of course, course we want to talk to you, too. Oh, my God. Um, so I'll just put jobs come first, happen organically. But I... More transportation up in the county. Yeah. yeah. That's not really what you're looking for, I know. We need to have a mixture of public and private. Capture your comments. I think the thing that we're trying to do is when it happened organically, people are now, because of the, the jobs being centralized mostly in the South Bay, people have to live in Tracy and drive in. So yeah. I think we're but not people up here. They we're trying work. to affect that. Right. So I think we're trying to say, Let's encourage gro job growth I think, all around so that people I can live where they can, you know, so it's more dispersed. I and therefore, see. housing would be more affordable, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. but yeah. That's what some yeah. of these strategies are trying to okay? Yeah. And the traffic, uh, it's trying to no, I, I, um, I don't care if you're on a place. Like see, what happened 30 years ago for me, actually longer, I'm kind of aging myself. I was uh, uh, an uh, environmental uh, economics major. Years ago, and we were we were talking about some of these strategies way back when. I remember this before it really became, uh, you know, one way here. And I had my doubts about it then, just because. You know, I, when I went to school, it was really before the age of PCs. Bright PCs are just started coming on. The whole world, after I graduated, changed in the 80s after after the introduction of the PC and and high tech taking off. I didn't anticipate. None of us sitting in our classroom uh, anticipated this, and and so I'm very doubtful. Yes, more with the pace of technological change that the most brilliant person and I'm sure you have more brilliant people we can, actually do yeah <laughs> we do I don't I don't yeah, believe they they yes. I don't believe they're seers and I don't yeah. think we can understand the future yeah. what we have to do is is live the present and yeah. and you know let the organic order unfold in front of us I mean uh, all these things are, are, are valuable. Right. I mean, uh, um, you know, would I choose to live in a community where there's more bikeways? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, good transportation? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, good freeways? Absolutely. Do you Affordable like housing? I, I, I like them all, but I, I don't, I guess the, the ringer for me is yeah. how yeah. it's implemented. Yeah. How it's implemented. That's you know, and, and, and I, don't think I could presume to understand your future. And uh, oh, it's a tote bag. It's a tote bag. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It's it be regionable. Some... Oh, good, good, good. Um, <laughs> be regionable. So, okay. So let me ask you another thing. All the jobs are in the South Bay. Yeah. And say we are a big, big happy region. How does Napa? get itself taken care of if all the money and power and influence is in the South Bay. Doesn't that dilute what we can do local? So our transportation funds, it's based on population or other factors, so uh -huh. I wouldn't worry that much. And actually, um, we appoint people all around the Bay Area. So uh -huh. we're a regional agency. They think locally, but then they also, on our board, they think, globe, they think regionally. They have uh -huh. to. So luckily for Napa, yeah. you have very strong representatives on our commission. Right. Um, Alfredo Pedrosa is a supervisor, if you know uh -huh. who he is. Oh yeah, you don't live in Napa, but in Napa. No, I know. I, I actually, I knew Mark 
loose? Yeah. Yeah. He was on our commission too. Yeah. He, uh, I don't, I think he lost his race. And right. So he was off. So now we have Alfredo Pedroza. We have Bill Dodd, who's now a state senator uh -huh. for many, many years, but he's now in Sacramento. So, right. Um, Alfredo is uh, the commission representative from Napa. Okay. And he is now our vice chair. So uh, in 2021, he becomes the chair, and that Napa will be taken care of, believe me. <laughs> It's just what, that just comes with the job. But so, he is anyway because he's a very engaged. Okay, politician. so here's why I'm a little cynical. Yeah. You you basically I know, I know that. no, that's fine. <laughs> what you're saying is, if you've got strong political influence, you get you get what you want. Well, why 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 be regional if that's the case? If you have to you have to struggle for a piece of the pie that you've already donated to. So I think the thing with Napa and some of the smaller counties and Maroon yeah. too, where you yeah. live, um, they feel right. even if it's true or not true, less under sort of the shadow of Santa Clara County or right. Alameda County. All right. And so it helps to have a very engaged political force. Now, the way that the election is to get on our commission, you they try to pick the best of the best. And so it is someone who can fight for the county, and that's how it's seen. I see. So, so when they, I say that, some are better than others, but I would say our commission in, as a whole, everyone is really taken care of in that way. So I don't want you to think, like, some are great, some are No, no, no. Well, how's, so, how's Moran? Uh, who's who's our representative um, of Moran? It's, uh, uh, oh gosh, I'm seeing his face. So for many, many years it was Steve Kinsey. Right. And was he, he good? was wonderful. Really? And so, um, gosh. I can't believe it. I can see his face and I can't. I'm going to tell you. Keep him standing there. Was he as good as Steve Kinsey then? No comment. Oh, really? <laughs> well, it just takes a while. Steve Kinsey was outstanding, you know? Yeah. And he was on it for a long time and then Steve Kinsey retired. He wants to enjoy his life, right? He's of that age. Well... You know what happened to Steve right, Kinsey. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Is it okay. because of that? Um, that wasn't the retirement. He was basically, he had no choice. Yeah. Because of the Coastal Commission thing. It's too bad because he was great on our commission anyway. Well, now you're making me feel all bad because actually, He's you know, Steve person. Kinsey yeah. did, was very, um, I mean, the, the thing that he did on the Coastal Commission was highly unethical. And, you know, by meeting uh, with uh, developers down in the Southland and, and you know, quite frankly, you should have maybe had a criminal case brought against oh, him. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it was very serious what he did. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, I mean, I want to believe you. I want to believe all this wonderful stuff's going to happen. But I, I'm, I'm too old. I'm, I'm just, I, I know, I know how the world works. It's, it's, it's influence. It's money. I mean, I, I maybe, I don't know. That's okay if you can't. No, no, can't no. Find this it. is ridiculous. I mean, yeah. it's just. So, um, you know, commissioners here. This. One second. So the chair right now is Scott Haggerty. He's been around a long time. Uh huh. Damon Connolly. Damon. Oh, I know who he is. Okay. I'm sorry. No, he's he's in my district. I should have known that. Okay, yeah. Don't. Yeah. If you know no, him. Don't tell no. Merciful no. forgot his name. Oh, I won't. Because <laughs> I like uh, him. He's a nice guy. He's he, he, he's just new. You know. Yeah. Um, we knew Steve Kinsey. I didn't know exactly about ethical anything. He yeah. was very. Um, he he was able to really talk about Marin and really represent Marin well, but also think about the region. And he was the yeah. chair at one point, and they all kind of take a turn. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, okay. But I do think that when you are the vice chair and the chair, you have extra attention brought to your county. And that's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. So that's why they all like to take a turn at that. Yeah, I can see I tripped you up a little bit with, with politics comments. No, 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 no. I, 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 didn't mean, I didn't mean to do that. I just, I, I'm I trying I to understand. I said it in a wrong way. And that's yeah, why. no, that I, I, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to understand, because I've actually been exposed to many, many of these ideas for years and years and yeah, years and years. Yeah, they're not rocket science, right? And, 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 and I don't know. 
I believe the honeybees. The honeybees are, uh, if you don't know anything about beekeeping, uh, they're like the most... My nephew is getting his PhD in two weeks time in bee behavior. Oh, okay, cool. He's not, he does not focus on honeybees. He focuses yeah. on pollinators. Uh -huh. And he um, and his girlfriend uh -huh. both have PhDs in different facets of bee behavior. Oh, what, a, go, what a horrible couple. <laughs> I know. They're both going to be at the University of Texas. They got a that, job in Austin. Actually, and they that's are, fantastic. Um, going to be researchers slash, I think, teachers. Anyway, yeah, yeah so I am very familiar with bees oh. from my nephew. <laughs> but but what I, I, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, the way, the reason I was interested in environmental economics was because I, I actually, I have this real, I'm a naturalist and I have all kinds of interest in that area, and I realize the, 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 the parallels between the natural world and the, 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 the built world. And um, I don't know. I just, I think it's, uh, I just, I just, I just hope you guys are right. And, and, you know, if you're going, I, I don't even understand this process because you're, talking with me and I appreciate that and you're you're now so gonna this process is we're taking these 14 and our planners goal is to hone it to 10 uh -huh. and so we want there to be 10 big ideas that go into this thing called the blueprint uh -huh. which is the document that goes through environmental review and it goes through a modeling exercise and right so from that comes a list of projects and programs that we hope to be able to implement over the next decade let's say right and it also helps to prioritize transportation investments um, for the counties and the cities to implement right and then they I mean there's a whole list you know that anyway there's other things that happen but this is the bait like the Bible the basis of so that's kind of a the planning element of the Bay Area. So we, that's what we're, we're yeah. tasked to do by yeah. federal law. So we are, yeah. yeah, yeah, but I mean, like my comments, I mean, uh, you're, you're, uh, you're taking my comments, you're going to you're gonna rewrite them and then you're going to yes. give them to, this is what we heard. Put it on a spreadsheet. And you're not really taking my comments because you, what you're well, doing is you're taking well, my Your goal, version of my comments, which is not really my comments, right? Well, you don't. Want, do you want to write them down? No, no, that's that's okay. fine. But but. So what we're trying to do today, because you've talked a lot about just your feelings in general. Yeah, my feelings about about the approach. I, I like I said, I, I think I, you know, you can get me to actually agree to probably most everything that you have there. Well, is there any that but you I, don't like I, at I, all? What? Is there any that you don't like at all? Well, the the whole thing is 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 a top down. It's like okay, this is okay. what we're going to implement, and I think all these things would be wonderful, but the way one comes about it is through, well, you know, political politics and the economy, and and if unless you're going to control the politics and control the economy. You know, you're really you're kind of chafing at the the will of the people. If you if you say, oh uh, well, everyone should live in in high rises or whatever. If people don't want to live in high rises, why should they? I mean, we live in a free country. Yes, you don't have to live yeah, in high rises. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I would so you like a snack? I no, I'm going to save that for you. But okay. I would like like something. <laughs> yeah, ready. there. Yeah. Well, you should. Do you want to follow our process? 